Hi friends, welcome to my Airbnb in South Florida, hence the inspirational quotes on the walls. Uh, more on that at the end. I did want to mention, however, I do apologize for any sounds of suburbia that you hear as I'm recording this. It sounds as if they're chopping down a rainforest next to me, but let's just ignore that. Just like we ignore the real chopping down of the rainforest. <laughs> uh, I want to share with you a recent photo walk from San Francisco, particularly a beach on the front of Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. It was a foggy day there, rather atmospheric, a lot of fun shooting. Another reason why it was fun shooting is because I actually went out with my new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I think I said that correctly. The naming scheme has gotten ridiculous at this point. You may or may not know that on this new 12 Pro Max, you have a wide angle, you have more of a middle ground and a telephoto. This makes for a very versatile, fun shooting experience. I also wanted to mention that I did not shoot in Pro Raw for this um, photo walk, but I plan to do that in the future. But with all of that said, I will give you more of a rundown of how I felt about shooting with the iPhone at the end. But for now, enjoy the photo walk. Hi friends, welcome to San Francisco. It is very foggy today. There's a giant windmill. Here's my wife. Hi guys. So it was nice and sunny and then we crossed the Golden Gate Bridge. And right at the end of the Golden Gate Bridge, there was a thick layer of fog, which apparently is a common thing here. And now we're in a giant cloud. It's more of a, a mist. I mean, fog is mist. There are some fog is cloud. Okay, we're heading to the beach. A very interesting area. Let's see. I take your photo. Sound good, man. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm a street photographer. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll give you my card so you know where it's going. <laughs> Appreciate it. I that, just dude. shared on my Instagram. Take, take, take. All right, man. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good one. Have a good one. <laughs> to the beach. Oh wow. Oh, half pipe situation here. <laughs> Christina, why are you antagonizing that dog? I don't know, he just didn't like me. I'm glad we came here. This spot's freaking sweet. Drop the camera, look around a little bit. This is the type of environment where if you give it some time, things will just lock into place for a shot. When I say for a shot, I mean like a really good shot. That's what happened to me in San Diego. I got the uh, surfer. This very much reminds me of that. A little more chilly here today though. <laughs> cool. Oh, there we go. Sweet. That's nice. That's nice, yep. Got the bird in there. Maybe. Yeah, a couple birds, that's good. Cool. Hey, excuse me guys. So I'm a, I'm a street photographer. I take photos of interesting people I meet. And I thought you guys were very interesting. I was just wondering if I could take a photo. You can pretend like I'm not here. Uh, They're cool? I, I just share them on Instagram. I can give you my card so you know where it's going. Sure. All right, cool. Like I said, just pretend like I'm not here. Okay. I like what you guys are doing. Go for it. <laughs> Just gonna hover around a little bit. Thank you. Awesome. 
awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Here, I'll give you my card so you know where it's going. So this is my website, but you can just get to my Instagram through there. But I really appreciate it, guys. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, Thanks. I'll be happy to send you the photos as well. All right, have a good day. Those guys were a little timid, so I tried to be extra thankful, extra calm, extra friendly. Always, what I'm trying to do is help people compute exactly who they're talking to, what my intentions are, if they can trust me, things like that. And the quicker I can help them compute that, to the better. So if there's any level of confusion, I try to clear it up right at the beginning. So it's probably a good idea to mention, I'm shooting with an iPhone today. Okay, we have a nice van here with a guy sitting on top that's lined up with the stairs. Try to utilize that. Maybe it's a little off. Okay. Let's see here. up a little bit either that or some evil yellow haze is coming to kill us all i sure hope that's the first one it's pretty though Let's see if I, oh we got some fishermen over here hey excuse me guys so I'm a, I'm a street photographer. I take photos of interesting people that I find. I thought you guys were very interesting. Oh. I was just wondering if I could take a couple of photos of you guys doing your thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Is no, that no cool? Problem. All right, I'm just shooting with my phone today, so All right. I'll just hover around a little bit. I like I'm not here. Thank you. What are you guys fishing for? Uh, oh, crab. Oh, crab? All right, cool. Yeah, I'm not from here, so I, that's, oh, I see. that's interesting information for me. Fog makes for some great photos. Oh, nice. Sweet. So, what kind of bait do you have for the crab? Uh, I have squid in there. Oh, squid, all yeah. right. That's interesting. I didn't realize crab ate squid. That's cool. Now, how far out do you guys go? Uh, go as far as I can. As far as <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. So nice switching between focal lengths so easily. <laughs> How do you guys know each other? Huh? How do you guys know each other? We're co workers. Co workers. Okay. How long have you guys been doing this? Our first year. Okay. So we just started like a week ago. Oh, okay. All right. Any success so far? No. No? All right. <laughs> that takes a lot of patience, I would imagine, right? Yeah. Also, I think we just come at the wrong time. It's like so choppy right now. Yeah. And, and we don't know how to cast far and we don't have waiters. Oh, I see. Yeah. So we're trying to learn how to cast far. I like that you guys are out here anyway, though. Yeah, Can't wait till everything's perfect to start, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Awesome, thank you guys. I wish you the best. Yeah, cool. thank you. I appreciate it. Hope you catch a thousand crab. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Here, let me give you my card. So I just share these on uh, Instagram. Uh -huh. There you go. And so if I, I, I got a lot of good shots, so I'll probably share one or two on there. Thank you guys. Have a good day. I'll be happy to send the photos over as well. Let's get a selfie. 
Turn around. <laughs> Dude, these are so good. Oh my gosh. This is lovely. Every time I come to a beach, man. Whatever happened to a <laughs> Look at it, look. Whee! <laughs> He's on the move. <laughs> Are they racing? <laughs> 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 oh, they're all dead. Oh my! Oh, the oh, carnage! Well, oh, the oh, carnage! May they rest in peace. <laughs> Okay, that is it for the photo walk, but I wanted to share some of my thoughts on shooting with this iPhone. It is a lot of fun. For one, you have a giant screen to work with on the back, and you can um, download other camera apps if you want. It's a, it's, a, it's a very enjoyable shooting and editing experience, you know, if you want to edit your photos on the iPhone. You can, of course, go into Lightroom and edit in there. That's what I did for this photo walk. You can absolutely get away with some serious editing on the iPhone at this point in history. It's, it's stealthy. You know, people don't really, really pay much attention to you while you're doing it. And it's outrageously versatile with the, with the way the cameras are set up. Now, uh, you can move from really wide to rather tight. And that's fantastic. And I'm also thinking about companies like Moment. They're probably really under attack right now. I am imagining that people are less interested in putting external lenses on their phone at this point now that we have this setup. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. For anyone who is starting out in street photography, I would absolutely recommend shooting with your phone. It is a, an easy way to get out there and take photos and feel like you're you're not being watched as closely as you may be with a larger camera. At this point, you have you're able to do so much with the phone that you're covering a lot of bases. Obviously, you don't have a larger sensor size that would come with something like a full-frame camera, but that's okay. The photos are still technically fantastic. But of course, what do you guys think about that? Uh, now I want to talk about South Florida. Why am I in South Florida? Well, the reason why I'm in South Florida is because I have moved to South Florida. I haven't finished the process of moving yet. This is the Airbnb that me and my wife are staying in. We have an apartment that we're, we're getting all of our ducks in a row for so that we can move into it in the next couple of days. I'm excited about that. I'm excited to share that new space with you. I'm excited to share uh, this new area with you. There are multiple cities to work with for street photography here. That's one of the reasons why I came is for street photography. Um, another reason I came is because my wife loves blue clear water and there, there's tons of opportunities for her in that here. And then also uh, me and my wife are absolutely done with the cold <laughs> and it is nice and warm here. I can walk around in a short sleeve shirt at the end of January and that makes me very happy. So we've been very blessed. Uh, God has been good to us and we're excited, we're full of ambition and goals. But with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the like button. That would mean a lot to me. And subscribe if you're interested in what I'm up to around here. That would also mean a lot. And uh, please feel free to engage below. Hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.